how to uh, migrate your live WordPress website to your local um, local server. So um, we're working on this website. I'm gonna download this. Uh, Goalist this is my website. Um, if you didn't know, it's called Goalist.us, and um, it's a listing website. Um, so people can list and sell, advertise for free. Go ahead and start your server. Oh, um, if you don't, if you missed the previous um, tutorial, how to uh, download the Zab, Zab control panel. This is the local server we're using, um, and we will be using Duplicator for WordPress. Uh, so go ahead and go over to uh, your WordPress uh, dashboard. So, excuse me, that's my mic microphone. Um, so go over to your admin dashboard uh, and uh, Alright, so go over to your admin dashboard. Um, if you did not already, go ahead and install Duplicator. Um, so we will be installing together here. Um, I don't think I have it. I'll check my. Alright, so go ahead and uh, add new and go over here, search for, uh, search for Duplicator. And it's this one duplicator by Snap Creek. So, and uh, go ahead and install it, activate it. And so, go to settings and go to the permalinks. And if this is set to your uh, post name, go ahead and cancel it or set it back to plain just for now until you download it. And, and then go to the duplicator. And create new. See, uh, I don't mess with it because uh, everything is uh, set to default. But if you don't know what you're doing, you don't need to mess anything here. Um, so go ahead and click next. And this can take some time. Oh, okay, it was so quick. So I have warnings here. The size is one point or one five bits, um, and uh, that's why I get ten warnings here. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes, continue with the build process, even though I have a warning sign. doesn't mean anything here. So while it's doing its uh, building package, um, let's go over to uh, your uh, server. We, uh, if you install Zab already, you should have it in your uh, C drive. So go over to C drive. And it's here, I'll go ahead and click on it. And uh, this is what you can see. Um, and then go to HDocs, um, HDocs, and then. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here. Uh, name it. I'm gonna name it to Goal List, just like, just like the, the website itself, because that's where we will be putting the download files so we have this one uh, we're dragging the files right here so go ahead and create now uh, name it any any name um you don't have to uh name exactly like you like website but oh cool all right so we have two of them um we want we have two packages complete here installer and the archive you can click on each of them or i'm gonna download both of them here so um, go ahead, click on installer and the archive will really download the board. Okay, so so our download is complete. Um, uh, go ahead and you can pull them over here on this tab, but um, let me reduce this size. Like I say, uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna open up my folder. So this is the folder that we created. Go ahead and now. Uh, oh my god. Alright. So I'm go ahead and drag drag all the downloads for the zip file in the installer. And so 
now remember again this is the folder we just created so um, go ahead and drag them from the downloads folder to the resolve folder uh, and after that we're gonna go over to go to your control panel to the exam control panel and then go to mysql right here oh it's not started okay yeah all right go ahead and start it if it's not and then go to the admin right here and tell me actually i don't want to use um i want to use a uh, google chrome for today but all right let's go over to google chrome and uh, type just type localhost localhost and then this case you over here go ahead and click on the on my hp uh my php admin and then uh, we need to create new folder here um new database so our database is the same as what um the folder you created so go ahead i'm gonna uh, name it um, same thing. Uh, go, go list, which um, is the same as the folder I created before, and then um, so now we have this one, and so go over to the browser up there. I'm gonna go ahead type in localhost slash go list. Uh, and get this one and now we uh, we have the installer here and then that's our t file so go ahead and click on installer and um, we're going to install <coughs> and configure our um, our uh, website local so go ahead and click right here and hit test okay our our database is the name we just created so uh, we did not create username for it, so um, the, the default username is root. So go ahead and when you click this one, it gives you a success message down there. And then go ahead and there are like advanced options right here. Um, uh, you don't have to do anything here. Uh, again, I don't mess with these settings. Um, um, all the ideas just click right here um, to accept the terms and then click around you get this warning and uh, see and the pop up and you click yes and this is going to go ahead and install our wordpress our website open so we're going to go ahead and wait for it we have this installer right here uh, this is the old url right here and uh, this this is going to be our new one here local so go ahead and click around update and uh, this is what happens the final state of this screen so um looks like it's good uh, we have zero warning um anything that is just simple one so now we need to clean up clean the um, all um, junks so go ahead and hit this security cleanup and then hit okay and there you go and then this is again it's local it's now live it's live it's here um, as you can see so we need a log up from here and close out this one so this is our local one we go ahead and okay um uh, we are here logged in uh um, and this is the exact copy of the live version so i hope this helps um if it did please thumbs up um for the video and then don't Forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.